a raft of wandering otters and we are gonna go we can't get enough of pebble beach so we are on our way to go check out the aftermath of the AT&T at Pebble Beach. Come see what we see. What do you say, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Spam, 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 spam. Alright, well here's the Pebble Beach outlet store and now they're having 30 to 70% off. So, and uh, I think there's still merch from the US Open that was like last June or July. So, um, we're gonna go to Pebble Beach proper and see if they have any sale prices there too. public side of 17 mile drive and then we're about to enter the not free part where they have an entrance fee of $10.50.
All right, here we are. We are at Pebble Beach. And uh, what is it you want to see here, Paul? The uh, tap room. We're going to go to the tap room. It's like a pub there. Oh look, 50% off. Okay, now the, remember the outlet store had up to 70% off and it's 50% off here. So I'm wondering if we get better deals at the outlet store. Hello. piece of uh, art it's a I don't know what that material is but it's the lone cypress I want to say an old Indian, but it's hardly that. Hey, Paul, so how was your lunch? Delicious. What'd you have? What'd you have? Chicken wings and ginger ale chicken wings, so he had uh, buffalo wings and ginger ale. I know. Oh yeah, look at that. You ever want to take up a bad habit? Oh, look at, I want to show you something. This cigar was uh, Winston Churchill's favorite. Punch. Really? Only thirty-six dollars. <laughs> Only got swag. Look at that. All right. Back to the real world. So is it fifty percent off of that? Entire store, fifty percent off. As I said, all the U.S. Open stuff is on sale now. And there's the lone wolf with the lone cypress. All right, so Paul, how'd you like the tap room? It was good. And in general, do you feel that coming to Pebble Beach is worth the money? Oh, you know what? We could have got a, a discount with our uh, Pebble Beach entry thing. I forgot. That's okay. We'll let it go this time. 
All right, so um, is it worth 10 bucks getting into Pebble Beach? Yeah. Okay, all right. But I think on a regular basis, we're gonna do more, uh, maybe have walk, do some walking and sightseeing more in Cannery Row, Pacific Grove. I think those might be better options for us. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, so glad you could see what we saw. And uh, speaking of which, I'll show you in just a moment. The view from the parking lot here is not too shabby. Um, right now, I'm looking at Point Lobos. But um, yeah, it's it's spectacular. Uh, there are some really not so shabby uh, views in um, Pacific Grove, and those are all for free. Till next time, have a great one. See you in the next one, Raft of Wandering Otters. Bye now. Bye. Anything else to say? I love this place. He does. Paul wants aspires to be wealthy. Wealthy. Wait, there's more. We have a um, birthday card for Paul's Aunt Connie. And so I thought, I have the card with me and we've been waiting to mail it, but I thought, wow, isn't this a perfect place to mail it from? So I'm gonna go to the Pebble Beach post office here and mail this letter so it'll be postmarked Pebble Beach almost as much fun as getting the Disneyland postmark back in the day. If you don't know about that, Google it. Disneyland used to actually have a post office and letters mailed from there were actually uh, marked, postmarked Disneyland. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you in here in the car with Paul very briefly and let you enjoy the view that I see right now from the post office, okay? All right. <laughs>